coming to this um, press conference. I'll just make a, a statement and then I'll be able to take just three questions because I have a, uh, a tight schedule. So the, there was a good Eurogroup meeting on Greece today. We essentially agreed on the package uh, that was discussed last summer. There are a few technical details left to discuss over the next few days, but there wasn't anybody in that room who seriously challenged, or challenged at all for that matter, the idea that that package hasn't been done. So the first point is that the Greek government has kept fully to its commitment that it uh, entered into during the summer, the, both in the um, institutional structure reforms and in the package of 3% of GDP, 1 plus 1 plus 1, on the income tax, on the fiscal measures and on the pensions, we have um, produced what we promised to produce. Secondly, there is still a difference of opinion about the impact and the yield of those measures between the institutions. So the European institutions, as well as we, consider that the impact of those measures will be enough to reach a 3.5% GDP surplus in 2018. The IMF, on the other hand, thinks that the same package of measures will lead to a 1.5 percentage surplus, 1.5% uh, GDP surplus by 2018. So the IMF is pressing for more measures. It has always said it is pressing us for a more credible reform package and it is pressing our creditors to be more generous on debt relief. We shall see in the following days whether its pressure is really symmetric and it will be doing the second half of that promise. So how will this uh, difference be bridged? There have been a lot of ideas that put on the table including contingent measures, but not only that, other ideas have been brought to, to the table, not just by us, but by other members of the Eurogroup. And any solution will have to meet two criteria. The first criterion is that within Greek law, you cannot legislate contingently. That means you cannot say you will do X if the state of the world Y is uh, in place in 2018 or 2019. And the second criterion is that whatever solution um, we reach over the next few days must be credible to the creditors so they know that we will keep to the 3.5% GDP. It must be credible to investors that they have the confidence that the program is on track, but it must also be credible to the Greek people that the political and economic aspects of the uh, program are what we agreed over the summer. Um, and finally, my final point, whatever solution we arrive to will be discussed together with the, with the debt. It is absolutely crucial for us that the whole package on debt and the reform gives a clear signal to the Greek citizens and to European citizens and to Greek and international investors that Greece has turned the corner, that there is a clear runway of exiting the crisis so that everybody knows that they can invest, consume, return their money to Greek banks and therefore turn uh, a vicious circle into a virtuous cycle. And I am fairly confident that if all these uh, co uh, considerations are taken into account, we are not very far from turning that vicious circle into a virtuous cycle. Uh, Anas from Real News and Star Channel Greece. I just have one question, because uh, in, in the past weeks we've been hearing some other figures, like 5.5 .5 for the upfront measures and something around 3. For the contingency measures, how did we how did we manage to go from 5.5 .5 to 3 for the APRO and uh, subsequently to only 2% for the contingency of 2018? Well, it's simple. It's the 2% comes from taking away 1.5 from 3.5. Um, the IMF estimates uh, estimates that the same package of measure 
measures will lead to a much lesser yield, either because it has a, a lower baseline. Um, the figures of Eurostat yesterday don't seem to confirm the economics of the IMF that well, uh, or because it thinks that specific uh, measures will have a lesser yield than we think all the European institutions think. Anybody non-Greek, so that's fair? So, and then another look. for German television. Hello. Um, the German government was strongly set against all talks about uh, debt relief or uh, restructuring debts. Now there will be talks. What will be your um, minimum goal uh, um, concerning debt and debt relief? Well, I can't go in a press conference to details about what the debt relief is uh, necessary. Suffice it to say, there are lots of things you can do, many of them having no impact on either German or Dutch or Finnish uh, uh, taxpayers to change the conditions of the Greek debt and make it more affordable. I think the criterion should be that we need this clear runway, that investors know that the Grexit is finally off the table, that Greece is uh, an economy that's coming out of the crisis, that the European uh, uh, leaders have given a signal we've uh, trust this Greek government to take Greece to the new phase and really it doesn't matter what technical solution reaches that result. The result that needs from the debt and the program put together, the result we need is that vote of confidence in the Greek economy and the Greek polity. Can you please elaborate a bit more on your statement that you said in Greek law you cannot legislate contingently? I mean it's pretty clear that they expect contingent measures from you. Well, it's not just Greek law. Um, I was speaking to Michel Sapin earlier, it's, uh, and it's in French law as well, that you cannot uh, uh, say, I will vote for this if this happens when it happens, yes? You just cannot do that in, in legal form. So all I can say about that is that we are seriously engage with the Europeans to find a commitment mechanism, as I said, to enhance the credibility of both the, for the credibility both for the European uh, creditors, uh, international investors, and equally important for Greek citizens. Do you have any ideas in mind? How of course we have ideas. We have lots of ideas. The Syriza Nel government is full of ideas on all sorts of things. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.